Number 99, a 0.125 molarity solution of MnNO32 is saturated with H2S, and the H2S concentration is 0.10 molarity. At what pH does MnS begin to precipitate? And then they give us these two um, equations. Okay, so where do we go from here? So they're asking for what is the pH, right? And generally, a pH always comes from what concentration? Always comes from an H plus or a H3O plus concentration. So I scan the two equations and I notice that in this equation, there is an H3O plus. So if I can just find that H3O plus concentration, I can find the pH. Now, it all relies on when that MNS begins to precipitate. Now, precipitate just means to form a solid. And the equation in which the MNS is in, it's this one. So the first thing is, is we have to find out when is this going to precipitate, at what molarity or what concentration. So the first thing is, I'm just going to write this out again, right? So we have MNS. That's a solid. This will dissolve into its two ions, Mn, two plus, they tell me that's aqueous already, plus the S2 minus. They tell me that this has a Ksp of 4.3 times 10 to the negative 22nd, and since it has a Ksp, let's just write out this specific equation, right? Ksp just equals always the concentration of the products. So in this case, we have the concentration of Mn2 plus, so Mn2 plus times S2 minus. Okay, cool. So let's see. Well, do we know any values? Well, they did tell me that I had a 0.125 uh, molarity solution of MnNO32. So if I have MnNO32, Remember that all nitrate compounds are aqueous. They're soluble, no exceptions. So that means that this is going to break down into its two ions. And the two ions are Mn2 plus and 2NO3 minus, but only focus on the one that would be in my equation. And in the equation, the Mn2 plus is the one that's, you know, the same. So I don't even care about the two NO3 minus. So now I say to myself, okay, I had 0 0.125 molarity of MnNO32, and if there's one MnNO32 and one Mn2 plus, the molarities would have to be the same. It's a one-to-one -one, um, ratio. And if I know this amount, I know this amount. So now I'm going to say, okay, I have 0.125 molarity for here. Did they tell me anything about S2 minus? Well, they gave me H2S, but that's over here. That's not S2 minus. So I'm just going to label this as X. And now I have both variables to plug in. MN2 plus is the 0 0.125, and the S2 minus is the X. So let's see. 4.3 times 10 to the negative 22nd equals... We have zero point, I should have maybe made this a little bit bigger. Let's see, there we go. 0 0.125 times X. And if we wanna just solve for X, all we gotta do is just divide on both sides by 0 0.125. Okay, this cancels. And now we're just left with X. So, 4.3 times 10 to the negative 22nd divided by 0.125. I get 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21st molarity. And remember, that's the concentration for the S2 minus. So S2 minus equals 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21st molarity. Okay, cool. Now, where do I go from here? Well, I got to get over to that, that other equation, right? I use this one up, so I don't have to use it ever again. But 
If I notice, if I look into this equation, I have another S2 minus. So it seems like I found the S2 minus concentration here, and now I'm just going to use it and plug it in for there. And that's how I go from one equation to another. So if I just write that one down, H2S, which is aqueous, plus 2H2O, that's liquid. This comes to equilibrium with 2H3O plus aqueous plus S2 minus aqueous. And they give me the K value. So K equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 26th. And let's just write out the specific formula. So in this case, I have two products divided by one reactant because, remember, no water allowed, no liquid allowed. So this would be H3O plus times S2 minus, all divided by H2S. And going back, there was a 2 in front of the H3O plus, so I just have to take that concentration and square it. Okay. Now let's see, the S2 minus was what we just found out, so that's 3.4, 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21. They did tell me that I'm starting off with H2S of 0 0.10 molarity. So H2S, 0 0.10 molarity, or maybe I'll just put say, I'll just say 0 0.10. They didn't tell me anything about H3O plus, so I'm just gonna label that as X. You can put 2x, however, if you're only solving for one variable and no two substances have x values, like these two just have numbers, right, no x values, I just like to write the one that I'm trying to solve for as x, because whenever you're finished with algebra, it's always x equals, it's not like 2x equals, so it just makes it easier. Okay, so now H3O plus is going to be x, s. 2 minus is 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21st. H2S is 0 0.10. And let's just plug it in. I'm going to start over here. So 1.0 times 10 to the negative 26th equals 2 on the top. Oh, what was that? And we got x squared times, I got to pull this out a little bit, 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21 divided by 0 0.1. Zero, right? Let's cross multiply. This times this, and then just group your numerator. So it would be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 27th equals 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21st x squared. Divide by that number on both sides. We're just trying to get x by itself. 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21st. 3.44 times 10 to the negative 21st. This cancels out. We are left with x squared. So we're almost there. So 1 times 10 to the negative 27 divided by that number. And I get a long decimal, 2.90698 times 10 to the negative 7th. And then just do your square root because we want to get rid of the square. So square root of 2.90698 times 10 to the negative 7th. I get x equals 5.392, that's good enough, times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's molarity. Well, what was x? Well, we said that H3O plus was x. So I know that my H3O plus concentration is at x value, 5.392 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. But now, let's see, are we done? No, but well, we're getting close because they said at what pH? Remember, H3O plus goes to pH. What's the formula? pH 
equals negative log of the H3O plus concentration. So all I have to do is just pH equals the negative log. This was a formula back in the last chapter. So this is kind of like review now. They always like to put multiple chapters together. Negative log of 5.392 times 10 to the negative fourth. Close that up. And maybe I will put my answer right over here. pH equals negative log 5.392 times 10 to the negative fourth. I get 3.27. And I have three sig figs. So technically, actually here I have two sig figs. So I need two after the decimal. So 3.27. And that looks good to me, 3.27. And that's it. There you go. So that is the pH in which MNS begins to precipitate. It's a pretty low pH. But yeah, that's it, guys. What do you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard. And I will talk to you in the future. Okay, bye-bye.